Well hello everyone and welcome back to another video and on today's video we're doing a little upgrade to the Subaru. I've got a light bar and some ditch lights so let me show you them now. I've got these off Amazon and this is an Amazon light and this is a this is what they say is a 480 watt LED light bar and the make was something along the lines of Pica, P I C C A. And it's identical to the Nylite ones. It's no different. So I looked at the Nylite ones and I ordered this one because it came with a loom. Although the loom that they sent was only for one light. So they sent the loom. And also, it came with these little ditch lights. But there was no loom for it. So I ended up ordering a loom which arrived the other day and then when I contacted the company they sent me out another one to say sorry. So I've got this one as well. <laughs> so what I decided to do for mounting options for the light bars I decided to put it on the roof and I got some magnetic mounts for those. I've already put them on and they're really really strong I haven't measured them yet to make sure that they're you know perfect distance apart I've obviously got to double check that but I just wanted to put them on drive it around and, you know see how good they were in the rain and they haven't budged and the light bars are very heavy anyway so I think they'll do the job and the other ones are going to be going on here I've got some brackets for those I've got these for the ditch lights so they just Go on there, they just sort of clamp onto there, look. And I can mount the light on there. It shouldn't take too long. The biggest issue though for me is where do I put the the cables? In there. Huh. I'm gonna try and find a way to get them in there. That looks like a little rubber grommet there, doesn't it? There look. Can you see that? There? I'm going to investigate that and see if that's a viable option. Because <sighs> I don't really see any other way in. That's uh, there's a oh, there's a big massive loom going in. Mm, but that'll be in the middle of the dash. Mm. So as you can see, I've removed the rubber grommet and I've shoved a little screwdriver through there through the little bit of foam. And we're going to have a look. See that coming through the other side. <sighs> uh -huh. There it is. Result. That was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. I can't believe there was just a little rubber grommet just there waiting to be used. And I found, yeah, I was thinking it's going to be a nightmare trying to get that through. Everything else is relatively easy. So, let's get on with the rest of it then, I think. Or should we put the cable through first? Hmm, I think I should have a cup of tea and think about it. I decided to use the other wiring harness that the company actually sent me out because they both had a plug. So I was able to unplug it from the harness and then just feed the plug through. But the other one... It was just one complete solid harness. Well, I got the switch installed there, look. I got that one installed on that side there. The supplied bolts for that bracket there was that little one on the left. And can you see how it's too short? By the time you've put it on that bracket, or you tried to screw that bracket on, it wouldn't actually catch the thread. So I've had to get some longer ones, which is that one on the right, and then I've had to cut them down so that they're the right length. Right, I've got the ditch lights installed now, and that's where I've wired, that's how I've done the wiring. I've used these little pads so you can put tie wraps through. So I've done that all along the bonnet edge, on the inside of the bonnet edge, look. 
the man. I've got it going under there. I took this off, this thing, but I've lost the clip. Lost that little clip. And I've rooted all the cables under there. You see? I've got them all sort of tidy there. And I've got the ones. There's the other one, look. And that's running down there. And I found a nice little place to mount the relays. I've screwed them to the the bolt on the top. The bolt, the bracket, it's like the bolt for the bracket that holds the battery in. So I've got the two relays on there. The fuses are there, look. There and there. So maybe I can try and tidy that up a little bit more. But to be honest, there's all wires and that down there anyway. And it's kind of out of the way, so I think that looks alright to be honest. And the switches that are going in, they're in that little grommet down there. Can you see that little grommet? And I've just tie wrapped those along there. And I've also got those running up in there as well to here. So let me show you those installed and I've also got the light bar on it. So there's the uh, ditch lights fitted. I've got them sort of at an angle that way a little bit. And there's the other one. <coughs> and what I've done is the cable for the light bar I've managed to run it up there, look. I've put a bead of silicon up there and I've run it up there and I've put a bit of duct tape on it to help the silicon dry. I think I can take that off now. Oh, I didn't really tape very well. I was hoping, I was trying to silicon it in there so it would not run up there. But I've used those same pads again for the wire, look. See, that's what the light bar looks like. So that's the install all done. Yeah, looks pretty cool. Yeah, I'm happy with the way it looks. So we just need to wait for it to get dark and then we'll go and test it out on a, on a dark country lane. And uh, we'll see how it we'll see how it looks, and see how they perform. Because that top one, that light bar, that's 480 watts. That's a 22 inch light bar. And these, they're four inch, and they're supposed to be 60 watts. So let's see how they perform. Well, let's test these lights out then. I've just got normal headlights on. That's my main beam. That's the light bar. Which doesn't really seem to be lighting up any further ahead than the main beam. Back off. Just lights the bonnet up more than anything actually. Main beam off. That's the light bar. Light bar off. Light bar on main beam. I think the main beam is better than the light bar in all honesty. Let's try the ditch lights. They don't really light up anything either do they really? Maybe they need adjusting. Let's turn the light bar off. Turn the main beam off. Now we'll put the ditch lights on and off. They do light on the sides. Yeah they do give some extra light. Seen that powerful though. Light bar. Yeah, I don't know, that lights the bonnet on, which I don't really like. I think there's normal main beams better. Oh, you see that on the side then? The little deer. They 
could just give a bit more light, but I don't like the way it lights the bonnet up, honestly. <coughs> Main beam off. Can't really see anything now, though. Main beam on. The light bar's more white, isn't it, look? Gives it much more white and light. And then obviously with the ditch lights on. Obviously everything is lit up more now. You can see the sides of the road better. That light bar though, I'm not that convinced. Jury's out. So, what's the conclusion? After fitting the lights, ditch lights and the uh, the light bar. Well, I think an old saying springs to mind, you get what you pay for. Although, I don't have any expensive lights to compare them to, to know how much better it would be if I spent more money. But after all the effort I've put in to fit in them and obviously purchasing them, obviously they weren't that expensive, but still, I don't really feel like I've gained any benefit from that light bar on the top. I don't like the way it lights the bonnet up and, the, and a bit of the dashboard. Uh, I think in hindsight, I would have fitted it to the front grille somewhere. But the only reason I didn't do that is because I couldn't find a, a good mounting option. And over here in the UK, we well, don't have anything, any, any, you can't get any parts for these Subaru Outbacks. You know, I see, I see all these different um, modifications over in the United States, and some cool things that people do with them. But I just can't get hold of any of those, any of those parts. So I'm very limited to what I can do. Um, I have seen that LP Adventure, like guard that goes underneath. It's like a front bumper guard. It's got a little bar that goes over the top and it's got little mounting points on it for a lights. That would be ideal, but yeah, trying to get one over here, I mean the customs charge and all that lot, I don't know. So yeah, I'm very I'm very limited and the only thing I did see was like a number plate one. I don't really like the look of it. Mm, might have to look at it in the future, I don't know. But I just don't feel like I've gained any benefit from fitting the light bar. As in like, I was hoping to get some extra distance. Um, but the, the, the full beam, main beam of this Subaru is actually pretty good. So yeah, I suppose if it was a car with lights that weren't as good, then it, I'd probably see more benefit. The ditch lights, yeah. <coughs> um, I can see a benefit from them. I might need to change the angle slightly. Maybe they're pointing to the sides a bit too much, but that's kind of what I thought the point was, that they light up. The ditches so you can see the road more when you go around corners i might tweak them and turn them around to the front a little bit more i don't know i'll have to have a little think about it and maybe I'll play with them in the dark but you can only do it in the dark really so you can see what they look like and it's a bit of a faff change in all the you know and doing all the bolts and stuff again so yeah i don't know but my conclusion yeah i don't know i don't think i would have purchased them and fitted them knowing what i know now that's all i can say or if i did if i if i was going to buy lights I, probably, I should have put it at the front. So, I don't think I like, I don't think I like any lights up on the roof. Although they look cool, but that's not really the point, is it? It's not, not to make it look cool, it's to make it functional. I bought them for more light. Don't really feel like I got that much, a little bit. So, there you go. Maybe this will help you out if you're deciding to do it to your car. Um, hopefully yeah you get some value from this video I thought I'd document it all anyway and be honest you know I don't want to go oh yeah fit the lights are amazing lovely look they're great I'm just being honest and telling you the truth what I actually think now I've done it would I done it again probably not no or I might have chosen different ones who knows didn't do enough research it's trying to be cheap I think <laughs> there you go so hopefully you've enjoyed watching that hopefully it's given you some value if you did give me a thumbs up and I will see you on the next video. And there is more to come. There's some more upgrades planned for the Subaru. I've got some other parts that I have bought. And they'll be getting fitted very soon. So I'll see you on the next one. See you later. Bye.